Yo, what up, folks? It's your boy Iron Root with another Marvel Strike Force video, and you know it. It's that CC recap, review, understanding, rewrite. Anyway, Cosmic Crucible season three is back in live in action. Uh, the first week didn't count because of numerous glitches. Yeah, as you can see, we're slightly losing our war battle, but let's check check it out. Haven't opened it up in here. There we go. Won my last victory. Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that. Six point difference, efficiency matters here. And this is why I'm going to, once again, strongly urge to have a stronger offense than a stronger defense, all right? Because uh, with some of these little rules, efficiency is gonna matter, I think, way more than anything else. And um, for those that don't have death pool yet, it's gonna be a tough one because she's like the key to really taking out some of those tangled web eternal rooms and I can tell you that four out of five new warriors struggles a lot so um, luckily I actually have her unlocked well I've got her I just haven't unlocked her yet if that makes any sense so um, again I got smoked this time around uh, some fatal mistakes right it's just it's what happens is the first week or the the first few stages I guess trials two weeks first week second week battles battles maybe battles because there's matches within battles whatever you want to call them it's always a bit of a learning curve while you adjust to the new rules and see what works for you again as we start to uh, get higher and higher uh, and more into the game there's gonna be more teams for your at your disposal all right so yeah unfortunately this time I only got 40 made me sad because uh, you know most of the time I do get 45 but hey what you gonna do right now we're looking at in two more crucibles, two more crucibles, I'll have them at a five star, which ain't too bad, ain't too bad at all. So this one, right, um, I was actually the last place in my bracket. So to finish six, not bad, right? Um, I think the last opponent I shared with, he was like uh, only a couple hundred thousand TCP higher than me, and everybody else was at least anywhere from one million to 12 million. So not bad, not bad. I don't mind punching up. All right, so again, we're gonna run through what I had on defense, because I made a lot of changes, but one room in particular with one team, I thought um, did pretty good. So again, here we go. I, at the time, and probably what I'm gonna go back to, just cause why not, um, in Young Avengers, right? I don't have them really high up, but I still feel like I would prefer to have Infinity Watch for offense. So as you can see, this guy came in and smoked my team. Uh, I did struggle to put up until he got the right RNG, but also figured out what tunes to bring in. So in here, he finally did win. And that was the deciding factor because I could not get past his, I think this is the guy who put uh, Dark Hold or A Hold. Yeah, so Dark Hold and, and, and Apocalypse on defense. And I had nothing for him because I used all my tunes. And I really just couldn't do much. So this guy, just a little recap, smoked my smoked my defense. I was trying a bit of different things. I heard about this room. And um, if you actually go in and watch the replay, which is surprising we can't, maybe because it's all over now, um, Red Hulk got supercharged and then annihilated my team. So congrats, buddy. You, you knew what to do. Um, this is the first time that I even tried without even knowing that Death Sea could beat, um, could beat Rebirth. But uh, again, it was a tough battle, right? It was a tough battle. And then here, this is the one I just couldn't get, couldn't get done. I tried everything. I tried some combos. I wanted to see if Rogue was going to go first, but she didn't. So this team just came in and smoked me, all right? So it was interesting. It was very interesting. I, I think when it came down to the second attempt, I, I exited too fast, right? I exited too fast, and, uh, and as a result, I didn't get an opportunity, which was right around the corner for Doom to pop off his ultimate, which I think I could have won because their Morgan Le Fay was down to a sliver. And when he popped off, it was just Apocalypse and Doom. And I'm pretty sure I could have done something right. But I canceled out too fast and uh, tried again in one more attempt. And of course, couldn't get it done. So, you know, tip my hat off to you, buddy. You, you put a good stellar defense up. And then as you can see, uh, my team which is a bit higher now right because I, I invested in them I think if you if you go back yeah, yeah so 87 
right, to 9-1. So I made some improvements. And what's sick is that I actually got a five star. Um, in in the in the in the past few days, I was able to get enough shards to five star my king and moonstone. And then I think um, Titiana is close. And whereas Absorbing Man, he's he's like uh, less than 30 shards away. So not bad, not bad. So yeah, as you see, right, you saw from the beginning, we lost. It's all good though, right? It's all about learning. It's all about learning. So we continue down Loser's Row and Furious, Furious Ming, right? Uh, yeah, this time I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try whatever, right? And I think, let me see. So again, just playing around. Oh, wait, you know what? This is the one I want. My bad. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's here. Snack bar, snack bar. Let me just, let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. So, all right, all right. I kind of ruined it, ruined it, but hey. <clears throat> so, here we go. He used Young yeah, he used young Avengers with Doom to beat my Young Avengers. Again, it's what you see in War, so not bad. Um, Death Seed versus my, you know, because they're, they're just like a throwaway team. I, I still prefer... Uh, unlimited X-Men for offense because you, you know you never know right that that's a cool little team that's a cool team I'm surprised with that one but hey you know what works efficiency not bad um, but good for you sir good for you you taught me something too right but here we go infinity uh, sorry uh, masters of evil pretty generic um, and then this one right so it took him a couple tries and in the end I think it actually came down to uh, a points difference because he wasn't able to clear, full clear me, and I like, but this, this, he, he killed this guy. So, uh, as you can see, this is what I'm going to go back to on defense because it worked. It pulled off some good victories, and I liked it. So, I'm going back to you. Everything else can stay the same. And here, I was like, you know what? This is probably what is my downfall. And so, I removed them for the third and final match. Uh, for attacking again, I went in here and had a better luck this time, but it was uh, it was pretty interesting I'm gonna lie like Zemo giving immunity to winter soldier right off the bat kind of messes with your uh, your motives <laughs> And then here this was nice This is a bit of overkill and this is how I messed up myself because I'm pretty sh pretty certain that regular unlimited X-Men can beat um, can beat these guys because like even though I thought I was down to something I was never really out of it and um, yeah they get ultimates popping off but we get our ultimates popping off and I believe I believe against regular dark hold unlimited x-men still beats them so there you go folks dorm hold sorry dormammu is just overkill and as a result it actually impacted me from winning because if we go down to stage three I had nothing. I threw up everything, but I couldn't solve this. This was a riddle I couldn't figure out, and it really freaking bothered me. So again, congrats, congrats to figure, you know playing with something new and troubling me because yeah, man, I had a lot, a lot of mistakes that cost me in the end. So again, right? What are you gonna do? And then this one, right? I, uh, yeah, this is a tough one, right? Um, Doom killed before he can ultimate pop off. Right? I thought I could have some damage, but it just didn't work. And just a lot of misplays. A lot of misplays. Here we go. Infinity Watch, Infinity Watch. Mirror's tough. It is not going to do well against your efficiency. So, um, yeah, good luck. Good luck. This is a tough room. There's no lie. This uh, Infinity Watch on defense is an efficiency killer. All right. So, uh, all right. And then I'm like, you know what? And my opponent did too. We were like, forget it. Let's throw everything on offense and see what we have. So Furious Ming, sorry I had to beat you, but I'm sure you'll get a victory somewhere else in life. And so here we go, right? I'm gonna, I'll show you my defense. Buddy, he did it, right? This guy, 50, 50,000 something, 61, and I put up 67. So man was smart. This is a nice little move. I, uh, I was thrown off by this. So this time around, I'm like, you know what? Let's put a little heavier, heavier defense up. And it's not that heavy, but I guess, you know, Bionic Avengers, I hear they're good. It's like, so Infinity Watch, Young Avengers, Bionic Avengers, that's who you want to throw in room one as uh, as a whatever, right? As a whatever. Again, Destiny, like, you're going to, no, everyone's going to come in and beat my room two, the, the mutant hero, hero mutant immunity, immunity and revive, because, again, I much prefer unlimited for offense. 
And then here we go. They use their unlimited uh, with Emma to beat my turn. And uh, not bad. They actually they made him struggle a little bit. So good, good on you. Good on you, buddies. Good on you. I was like, this is where I was like, I want to have some fun too and try something different. Um, <clears throat> because, all right, as you can see, I think on my uh, attacks, I'm pretty solid. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think going forward, I'm going to use either Tangled Web or, or uh, at least you know, 2099 and Weaver for offense. And I'm going to leave internals on defense just to create a headache. But, uh, you know, that's just what it is. So maybe somebody else. I don't know. I did like what Buddy had, but I also am a big fan of Miles. So good for you, buddy. Good for you. So go have some fun. Take some damage out. And whatever you do, whatever you do, boys and girls, you do. Again, pretty generic. This is a, like, this feels just so boring i'd rather use masters of evil and theory craft for some other stuff so sometimes when wakanda is low enough i could use and have used Darkhold, but i know it's not the most accurate way to win and you know i think with the new rules um it's not going to do that way so unfortunately until we get another wakanda killer it's going to pretty much be masters of evil or other some other forms of theory crafting and then there we go a hold beating my infinity watch and they they smashed them because i i am also a fan of trying infinity watch if you're going to put them on defense into room five but i guess when you have the right tunes then uh this is a very easy match so again congrats for your smartness way to good way to get it done that's a beefy morgan morgan lefay that's probably like level 95 uh, gear tier obviously ISO 5 all that good stuff 400 K she can get up to Wow 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 and then here again playing around because I don't really have my rebirth built up I am building them up now and um, like pretty easy pretty easy room so once again congrats buddy but it just came down to efficiency and where's the one that hurt you the most 49 okay so yeah room uh room three room three that's what the deciding factor was all right now for me again boom loving this this is a sweet little team bam bam shebang you're done a couple turns it's over then uh here we go right he had the same same idea use unlimited for offense bravo bravo anyone if you know who to upgrade before um, uh, Sunfire or uh, this guy because one of them is good to go and I want to know who I usually sub out Sunfire because I prefer the evades but I know some people like the um, AOE attacks and the unavoidable offense ups but again sometimes you never know right you never know um, but here I was using Psylocke because I don't want to ruin it what's room three yeah, yeah, yeah. all right Again, when you have everything on offense, want to have fun. And if you're not going to play with the Horseman and Apocalypse, then are you really playing Wild Strike Force? So, yeah, we smoked them. Still hurt us on efficiency, but it happens. It happens, right? But yeah, all came down, all came down to this room, I guess. And then Masters of Evil, Wakanda Killers, like pretty simple. Um, here we go. Doom, uh, Doom with. Dark Hole to beat their Bionic Avengers. That was a surprising room, but not that bad. I mean, Doom in the end of the day, he's always going to be the most fun. And then here we go. So a lot, a lot of. Ooh, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. Uh, Kestrel is okay, but you know, having like having a three-star Firestar, three-star Death Pool, it's going to be really difficult, I think, for me until I get what I need, but. Again, it's all about offense, folks. It's all about offense, at least. So, congrats, buddy. It was a good match. I'm glad I didn't go 0-3 this time. Has happened before. Congrats to Short Bus from Agents of Omega for holding it down, a first-place victory. Furious Ming, sorry, buddy, but... Oh, I'm having glitches. My, uh, my thing is too sensitive. So, let's try that out. Yeah, it was good. It was a good match. It was a good match. And uh, sixth place, when you were in last place to start... Not bad, not bad. Could have gone either way. Could have, could have been hunkering in here somewhere, which would have been nice. So and now, if we look at our uh, our defense, not much changing. Only 
Only thing I'm really changing is I may sub out another Young Avenger. Maybe put Miss Marvel or something. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just throw in like uh, America Chavez for like health, you know. But um, yeah, going back to uh, to Quick Silver Hold, Quick Hold, Quick Hold, Quick Hold. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool little name. Quick Hold on defense or Dark Silver. <laughs> Dark silver, quick hold. What do you think? What do you think? Dark silver, quick hold. Put it, put your what, what, whatever one you like. Put it in the comments. Let's let's get it. Let's try to get a new game going, a new role. Um, but even even new new uh, new upgrades because I purchased the second red star for quick silver. I don't know about the third, but at least two for now. And then as you can see, my rebirth is slowly coming up. By the time by the time Crucible starts on Monday, I. Hmm, it's all dependent on what I'm gonna do. Definitely, you know, what's his name? U.S. Soldier. I'll bring him up to like 75, maybe 80. He's got to get up to level 80 gear for your 15. So they'll be a little chunkier. Hopefully, they can be a little bit of annoying defense. But again, I don't know. They're not like massive. I just need them to get the job done for the incursion raids. And um, yeah, hopefully they. They do what they need to do, and one of these days I will probably upgrade him to gear tier 16. Um, it's just one of those moments, right? Like if we go, it's, it's, it's I don't know, right? Like I get stumped with who to. That's just those are those are just specific farming farming tunes. But um, if y'all check it out, right? Like my apocalypse teams are close, but not close. Right, so it's like who's who's next? I really like this guy still, but whatever, whatever, right? And then of course, here's my rebirth slowly building, slowly building them up. But I want to talk about offense for a sec. So here we go. Um, tangled, undying, tangled with uh, Omega Ray. It's pretty sweet. A lot of bleeds go out, some serious damage. This is a low key sleeper kill team. I use it a lot. Uh, use it a lot in the last round of CC. Not the th Cosmic 32 though, but the last one before that. It's very nice against uh, a lot of defenses. And then of course here's my regular Masters of Evil, Death Seed, Unlimited X Men, Infinity Watch because they're uh, they're um, excuse me, they're my interchangeable team. And then. This one, honestly, I thought would be a fun, could be damaging room five team, or yeah, room five. The one that's, that gives energy, uh, ability, en yeah, energy, energy on to the ultimates, but rem sorry, removes ability energy from the ultimates and adds ability energy to the special, because you get a lot, right? You get a lot to go out first. Her, her um, rogues, uh, rogues ultimate, Gamma's ultimate, and then Doom's ultimate. So if it plays out right, it's quite nice. Uh, I have to remove this because this won't work. And so again, man, these tunes cost so much to get up to a level to play with to keep at the meta at a competitive level. So again, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'll probably gear tier 16 him, good old Quicksilver, because he's quite, he's pretty sick. And then um, as you'll see in a very, in a second. Um, I'll remove it now This is a uh, again, you know big shout out to Duarte because he's the only one I saw him using it um, But this is a very nice gamma killer. All right, if you get the our right RNG and then um, Yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of juggernauts on offense. I think that's the right way to go um, If you're gonna play right again defense. Yes it can get you far it can be challenging and annoying but I think you want to you want to have a nice hybrid of, of what works for you and how you can keep these tunes working again uh, for you because honestly it does seem that Cosmic Crucible is uh, it doesn't matter what you throw on defense people are going to beat it so um, I really think efficiency is going to matter way more and having a disposal of, of the right tunes that can propel you to win is going to matter most so be creative have fun and uh, let me know what works, what works for you, what places are you finishing, what, uh, what ranking and level are you in. I am back down to Diamond 1, unfortunately, and it sucked because before Cosmic 30, 32 started, or Crucible 32, whatever you want to call it, um, I actually got myself up to Masters 2. 
so uh, sorry my bad not masters two oh my gosh that's that's still down the road i got up to diamond diamond two um and it really made me happy because i got i was i'm very it's the second time i've been there before the stupid season ended and then kicked me back down but diamond one you know it's where a lot of a lot of the people that are my level are at and so it doesn't make it too difficult but it does make it fun um so here we go right like uh gwenpool i'll probably in the next couple of days get you going because you are much needed in order to do well at least against gamma in cross crucible or the uh tangled wet but having a three star is going to hurt me having a three star fire star is going to hurt me i'm not even sure if i want to get the last i need 20 shards to get a four star fire star but i'm like don't know if i want to hit that last milestone you know what i mean so it's like everything's up in the air i don't even know if i want to be able to get a four star gwen uh gwenpool death pool who was i saying Jeez, gwenpool so many pools so many gwens what are you gonna do but yeah um again i'm feeling offense is the way to go it's always been my strategy um it does leave you to a disadvantage from time to time because uh if they have everything on offense too then it comes down to efficiency and one wrong move one back out one cancel attack game over right even if your game glitches and crashes you're gonna lose but try not to get too uh invested into it it's still a game and at any given time the uh, the servers can go down and what are you left with right so um just be nice be kind everyone stay bubbly enjoy life my worst, you know the catchphrase, Mario Strike Force is life, but it doesn't have to be. And, uh, oh, and um, if you need an alliance, right, or are thinking about merging, my alliance kind of got shafted in the last few weeks. A lot of people are being burnt out, and other, other things are happening in life. And our alliance has always been life first over the game. And so uh, if you want to join a competitive casual alliance, all right, we are doing incursion raids. We just started. So we're gonna see how that goes. We do 60% on the gam on the Greek raids, um, all of them high levels activity. But yeah, if you want to merge, holla at your boy. If you want to join, uh, again, shout out, message me, whatever you gotta do. Um, but yeah, we're we're in talks. We're looking for anyone that can handle the incursion raids. Uh, I guess that probably means like Doom 3. Point something or Doom 3. Whatever you can do, it doesn't really matter at this point. We're really willing to take anybody. All right, so the Brute, the Brute Squad, we have a uh, number of open slots. And again, if you want to, if you're an alliance out there that wants to get into the mergers and go down that avenue, hit us up too, right? Because we are in dire need of some extra help. Uh, the raids are killing. We're getting crushed on raids because we don't have enough keys. But that's my little side note. PSA, shout out to anyone who's looking for a new alliance or wants to have some fun. I will... I will say this, the advantage to joining us is that we basically have a human mobile game encyclopedia that is super smart and knowledgeable and can help you along the way. Um, big shout out to Little Dirt, Little Dirt McGirt, because, you know, he's, he's, uh, you can call him executive board, you know, we're retired but still comes back to play just like our other boy Bounty, and um, unfortunately we actually lost two guys last week, they just up and quit. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you stay long enough to watch the entire length of this video, I do thank you. Big, big love once again. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Trying to, trying to keep it consistent and coming back. So, uh, we'll do the, uh, Nova Scourge, uh, tomorrow probably, maybe Sunday. Anyway, but as you can see, I already got him. Put up a, put up a score of one point, just under 1.4 mil. The, uh, the first time, the first time when the leader boys didn't matter. And I was a big fan of that bio glitch. So we'll see what it looks like. See about fun and try to get his, um, I guess, awakened abilities, you want to call it? Whatever. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Always stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah. Right. Cheers, folks. Let's keep it classy. I don't know. I don't got to sign offs anymore, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, Cosmic Crucible. It is a heck of a good time. I wish it was all week long because that'd be sweet, but yeah. Uh, Weaver for offense. Weaver for offense. That's going to be, I think, one of the keys to winning and, uh, and progressively and doing better in this one. 
All right, so we'll get some gameplay action. I'm really surprised that you can't replay, but maybe I don't have any of the right things turned on, or maybe, maybe once the tournament's complete, you can't go back. I'll look into that for you, though. All righty, folks, it's been a slice. Y'all keep it real, and uh, yeah. <laughs> My old strike force. I wonder if I'll be playing in the next 10, 15 years. How crazy would that be? Easy, everybody.